Hey everyone, welcome back for a new vlog. I know it's been a minute. I've been extremely busy with the pool season. It's finally starting to calm down. Uh, the season's been very fruitful. Uh, I've uh, already well surpassed all of last year's total sales, so I'm extremely thrilled with that. It just keeps getting better. I really hope your guys' season has uh, done well too. Uh, so now that it's starting to slow down, I'm going to have more time to devote to you guys. And I figured what better way to start it off than start with the top five financial mistakes that I see pool companies do from the very beginning um, that can set you guys off on the wrong foot. Um, you know, as I start coaching more people, you know, I see people making this mistake almost daily. And hopefully, you know, if you listen to this video and take the advice, you'll see that it's very helpful and gets you off on the right foot. So anyways, the first mistake I see people make is they buy a brand new truck when they're first starting their pool business. Do not do that. Uh, the average cost of the truck in the United States as of 2019 is basically $50,000. When you put your $5,000 down to finance a truck, over the course of 72 months, which is the most common uh, loan term, uh, you're looking at a payment just over $800 a month just for the vehicle. And that is a vehicle you're going to destroy. That is a vehicle that the chemicals are going to destroy. That is a vehicle that's going to beat up, be beat up by employees. Do you really want to pay that much for a vehicle that's going to depreciate for one and B, just be beat to shit? Uh, I would advise against that. Uh, most of the successful businesses that I'm aware of in the pool business uh, start with used trucks. One of my friends out in Texas, Scott Davis, he's a huge advocate of used trucks. He always says, buy something with over 100,000 miles in it, on it. And there's a there's two ways to look at the arguments. One is, oh, well, you're not paying the monthly car payment, which is true. You know, you just you spend the $5,000, buy the truck outright, it's yours. You don't have a monthly payment. But you'll have, hear people argue, well, you know, used vehicles are expensive to repair. Yes, that's true. But trucks these days are meant to run 200 plus thousand miles. And the likelihood of needing a major repair in your first year with a vehicle with only 100,000 miles on it really isn't that likely. So I say in the very beginning, buy a used truck and avoid that high monthly payment, especially because you're going to be making mistakes. You're going to not know how to handle the chlorine in the back of the truck. Oh, get chlorine caddies too. That'll help protect your truck. I don't know how people don't, but anyways... Um, this is where the jugs sit in the bins to protect the chlorine in case anything spills over. Uh, but at any rate, back to the topic. Do not buy a brand new vehicle. You do not need it. It is not needed in the very beginning and you will put yourself behind the eight ball and more debt before you can go start your pool business. Financial mistake number two. Do not get office space. You do not need it for a cool pool cleaning business. Uh, you're not bringing people to your office to discuss pool service. You're going out to them. You don't have employees, unless you buy a franchise, that's a different story. You don't have employees, you don't have overhead, you're not stocking a bunch of equipment and stuff. You do not need office space. Save, and in my area anyways, it's twelve to $1,800 a month and up to lease office space. You simply don't need it. So if you do mistakes number one and two, you are looking at roughly $2,000 to $2,600 before you even step foot out of your house. Do not make those mistakes. Mistake number three, you finance a humongous route. Guys, in my opinion, I believe that buying a pool route is a dying thing. It's not as, as necessary as it is with today's social media, friends, you know, people like me that uh, throw leads all over the place to people. You do not need to finance a huge route. If you need to buy a route, uh, buy a smaller one that's going to get you started. It's going to cover your bills, you know, stuff like that. You're going to have to set up a budget at that point, uh, which you should do anyways. Um, so, I mean, if you finance a huge route, you could be looking at $1,500, $3,000, $4,500, $100 a month, coupled with the first two mistakes. Now you're looking at $6,000 to $7,000 a month and outgoing before you even make any money. And that's not including your main, uh, other costs like insurances, chemicals, and stuff like that. So do not finance a humongous route. If you need to buy one, buy a smaller one. Financial mistake number four I see people make. They, they choose postpay versus prepay. Guys, I cannot explain to you how important it is to do prepay. 
cable services, lawn services, your mortgage, all prepay stuff. Uh, you don't want to perform the work and then not get paid on top of that or at least have it delayed. When I first started my business, I was post-pay. The first year and a half, as my business grew, it got to be at the point where, sorry guys, it's starting to rain. It got to the point where I was having five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars $10,000 overdue and it's just not sustainable, especially since we put the time and money in building the route uh, and servicing the route. So do not go post page. Please choose pre prepay. You guys will thank me later. The last financial mistake people make in the very beginning is not setting taxes aside. Now, when I first started, I set taxes aside because you're, you're generally not going to have payroll your first year. You know, you're, you're loaning money to the business essentially, and then you're going to have the business pay you back. So most people like myself just sort of took money as needed and, uh, you know, obviously kept the books accurate and everything as far as what was being paid back. But a lot of people forget about taxes. Uh, and, and that could be a serious burden on you guys when tax season comes around, you know, April. Um, I set 25% of my taxes aside to allocate towards that. So when the tax bill came, it was no big deal. I just cut the check and moved on and, and all that. I didn't have another eight, 10, 12, $20,000 that I owed the, the state um, because I didn't set it aside ahead of time. So definitely set those uh, taxes aside so you can make sure that you're covered when tax season comes around. So. That is the top financial mistakes that I see companies make routinely. I hope this helps. I hope you guys run with this and start your business off on the right foot. Please reach out and support me on Patreon, uh, patreon.com backslash chlorine king, and always subscribe and like those videos. I appreciate you all, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Don't forget to check out my friend Robert's YouTube channel, Clean Pool and Spa. Full of great information will surely help you take care of your pool. Link is below in the description.